Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to be making a parts tray. So when I take small items apart, like phones, small little weed whacker engines, and things like that, I have a parts tray to put all the parts in. So let me show you the materials that we're going to be working with. All right, so here's what we're going to be working with. We got a black match marker, pair of scissors, utility knife. This is a uh, Gorilla Super Glue Gel. You can also use regular super glue for this. Okay, sorry, clear masking tape. We got two. We got two two plastic manage jars. We got got a Cool Whip uh, container, and we also got a candy container, and we also have uh, four co uh, four uh, coffee creamer containers. And we also have a cardboard box. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut right on that black line. Take our. Okay, so now that I got the bottom of the cardboard box cut out, okay, so I'm going to, I don't know if I'm going to just use this side or the whole entire bottom of the box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set these. There. All right, so, so I'm just like that, okay? Now, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut right along here so I can, so I can still keep this half but not use this half for right now. But I'll use this half. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut right along here. It doesn't. I don't. It doesn't have to be perfect or nothing. So take the exacto knife. Right along here. Now I actually have. Now I actually have two different halves. All right, so now, but now what I have to do, I have to take the clear, pat. I think this is called uh, packaging tape. Take the clear packaging tape, and what I want to do is line it up. Alright, so now what I have to do is I have to cut, okay, I have to cut the bottom, the, cut the bottoms of these containers out. So what I'm going to do first, take the black marker, and all I'm going to do is just draw a little bit of, draw a line like that, okay. Now you can do the line all around, or you can just do a line like that, it's okay. But in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it all around. But like I said, it, it's as long as, as long as they're cut, long as the bottoms are cut, but it doesn't have to be 100%. It doesn't have to be 100%. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect, basically. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is now, if you have, if anybody does this, and they have both of these on hand, they have scissors. These came from Harbor Freight, free. Okay, this came from this came this came from Walmart. Okay, but if you have these two on hand, okay, you can use either one. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take the X-Acto knife and I'm gonna actually puncture like puncture it like this. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch it over to a pair of scissors. Okay, so now I'm gonna.
All right, now we're ready to glue. Now we're ready to glue the bottoms, okay, of these containers, halves, to the cardboard, okay? You can also, now what we're gonna be using is uh, Gorilla Super Glue Gel. You can also use E6000 glue. You can also use Crazy Glue if you choose to, okay? And also too, you can also you can also use sticky uh, sticky tape to put sticky tape um, around, and then also stick it that way, okay? As well as sticky tape here and do it that way. But but there's a possible chance that moisture or dirt, whatever it is, will eventually get in between the in be uh, uh, between the uh, the sticky tape and the actual bottom base and make the uh, or have the bottom halves come uh, come off the cardboard. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use Gorilla Glue. All right, so here's the finished product. So now when I take apart any small engine, like a weed whacker, push mower, uh, scooter, okay, I can put all the parts in individual trays so I don't get nothing messed up, okay. And if anybody does this, uh, does it, if anybody watches video and does this too, okay, hopefully this will help you as well, okay. And the and all these tools that I use, we'll link all this stuff down in the description box below to help everybody out. And if the tape does, if the tape does come up a little bit, just take a little bit of the same tape that, that, that I used and just try to, you know, and then just put more down and you should be good to go. Well, that's it for this video, folks. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, smash that like button. Also, if you have a comment about this video, please leave it down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any videos like this that I do. Okay. See you next video. Peace.